Hello everyone and welcome back to English Vanessa. In this video we are going to discuss degree semester 4th English textbook exercises. The topic is pronunciation plural endings. So the plural nouns are the forms that tell us there is more than one of something. With regular nouns we usually add an s to make them plural. For example why do we say one book but two books with s sound. Yet we say one dog two dogs with z sound. To make things more complicated, we say one house, two houses with is sound. So plural nouns are not as simple as you think. But I can definitely simplify them for you today in this video, where I am going to cover all the pronunciation rules with you. But before this, I want to mention the spellings of irregular nouns, irregular plural nouns. And they are not made by just adding an S. Here you sometimes need to add a letter or two or completely change the spellings. So here for example you can see here one baby but two babies. One knife, two knives. One church, two churches. So you should learn these irregular nouns as well. Now let us talk about these plural endings. We have three sounds is S and Z sound. So here let's talk about the first sound that is is sound. Here this sound produce a hissing or buzzing sound. That means if you put your hand on your vocal cords it vibrates when you pronounce this is sound. For example prize, prizes, bridge, bridges, chance, chances. Here your vocal cords vibrates. And here we have the second sound, s sound, like a hissing of a snake. It's voiceless. That means your vocal cord doesn't vibrate. Like if you pronounce the word belief in singular and beliefs plural. Cup, cups, book, books, month, months. Here if you put your hand on your vocal cord, it doesn't vibrate. That's why it's a voiceless sound. Now we do have z sound. It is voiced. This voice sound uses the vocal cords and it produces a vibration or humming sound in the throat. Again here if you put your hand on your throat it produces vibration. Like for example crab, crabs, dog, dogs, hills, hills, dream, dreams, bed, beds, king, kings. Pen, pens. So, now let us discuss when and how to pronounce this is sound. After the consonant sounds like s, z, sh, ch, j, and z. If you find these sounds at the end of the word, then the plural endings are pronounced as is. Here, for example, we have bus. Here we are not concerning about the spelling but pronunciation. So here you need to pay concentration on pronunciation. Here we have bus s sound. That means the plural would be is sound like buses. Here we have rose, roses, bush, bushes, watch, watches, bridge, bridges. So here you should remember these letters whenever your noun end with these sounds. You need to add is to its plural ending and pronounce it as buses. Now the second sound is s sound which is a voiceless sound. Listen to the sound s. It's like a sound snake makes. It's completely voiceless. That means if you put your hand on your voice box that's a vocal cords, it doesn't vibrate. So when do we produce the s sound? After the consonant sounds like k, t, t, and th, plural endings are pronounced as s. For example, stop. Here we are not concerning about spelling again but pronunciation. Stop, stops. Cat, cats. Park, parks. Chief, chiefs. Birth, births. So remember one thing, whenever your noun ends with these sounds, you need to add s to make it plural and pronounce s sound. Now let us discuss the last sound that is z sound which is voiced. 
So after all the other consonants and all vowel sounds, plural endings are pronounced as z sound. That means whatever we have discussed earlier, like in is and in s sound, after that remaining letters, consonants or vowels that end with z sound. For example, we have here g sound like in bag, which end with z bags, tub, tubs, car, cars. Play, plays, toy, toys. So here this is sound pronounced after these sounds, after these letters. So whenever your noun end with these sounds, you need to add iz to it to make it plural and pronounce as is. Like box, boxes, prize, prizes. And the second one, whenever your noun end with these sounds, you need to add s to make it plural and pronounce like sleep. Sleeps, book, books, hat, hats, s sound. And the, and the last sound is sound. For all other consonants and all vowels, means except these and these letters, remaining all consonant and vowels get this sound. Like in bags, stalls, dubs, cars, flies, songs. So now let us start. The first exercise identify whether the plural endings of the following words are pronounced as is, s or z. And also transcribe the plural forms of each word using phonemic symbols. So what you need to do here, first of all, you will get this question in your exam. So you need to write its phonemic transcription. Then you need to pronounce the words and then you need to decide whether the words will get is ending, s ending or z ending. Like for example, here we have month, that means th. Here we have th sound, that means you need to add s to it to make it plural. So months. And same we have here dream, that means it come under this third rule, that means you need to add z to make it plural, like dreams. So here I have written answers for you. You can pause the video, you can take a screenshot of it or you can write in your notebooks. So let's start doing the first one is a month. Here we have month, you need to write first of all the singular here, we are not concerning about the spellings but pronunciation. Here we have month, the th sound, that means you need to add s to make it plural, like months. And here we have dream, that means you need to add z, dreams, guava, guavas, grudge, grudges, is, here we have added is, because it's ending on this j sound. And here, mosquito, we have mosquitoes. Here we need to add z. And the next one, scarf, scarves. Here it's end on f, that's why we need to add s. Marsh, marshes, is. Kite, kites. Thumb, thumbs. Sudoku, sudokus. Layoff, layoffs. S we need to add because it's ending on f sound. Award, awards. Question, questions. Here we need to add Z because it is ending on n sound. Clock, clocks. The next one, bell, bells. Because it's ending on L, that's why we need to add Z. Surprise. Surprises because it's ending on Z, that's why we need to add IZ to it, make it plural. Egg, it's ending on G, that ga sound, we need to add Z to it. Eggs, tape, tapes. Rainbow, rainbows. Abacus, abacuses. It's ending on S, that's why we need to add IZ to make it plural. Buggy, buggies. Thing. Things, minister, ministers, college, colleges. So this is all for today's video, pronunciation, plural endings. You can pause the video, you can take a screenshot of it. I hope it would be helpful for you. Stay tuned for more videos and thanks for watching.